Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your iPhone 15, iPhone 15 Pro or iPhone 15 Pro Max. We're going to do this from scratch and I'll show you how to transfer your files from your older iPhone device. Let's get started. All right, so we've got our iPhone here fresh out of the box and the first thing we want to do is swipe up and that's just going to open up the setup process. Now we've got a lot to cover here, so I'm going to try to put some chapters in the video description to help you out. So if you want to skip ahead to the section where we're going to do it manually or when you're going to transfer your files, check it out so you can set up your iPhone the way you want. Now for everybody here, the first part we're going to look at is the language and we just simply select the language and our country from where we're from. This next page here is all about the appearance of our iPhone. So the text size and icons that appear on our iPhone when we use it. By default, it's gonna look like this and that's our example. If we tap on medium, you'll see it gets a little bit bigger and then large, it's gonna be much larger. So depending on what you wanna see, the text, the icons, choose what best fits your needs. For me, it's default. Tap continue. Now at this point, you can set it up without another device down here, or if you have a device like an iPhone 14 or another one, just bring it close by and you're gonna see this appear here. Now you can skip ahead to the timestamp on screen if you want to use another phone to transfer the files. Otherwise, stick to here. We're gonna set this one up manually first. So we're gonna tap set up without another device. The next section is just your Wi-Fi network. So just select it from the options enter in the password, and then tap continue. We'll give it a few seconds here to activate. And at this point, it's prompting us that we do need to update the iPhone if we wanna transfer our files from another phone, but because we're doing this manually, I'm just gonna say update later. You can choose to update it now if you want. We'll just move on by tapping update later. This section is your data and privacy. Just read through this. You can tap learn more if you like, and then tap continue. And here we're going to set up our iPhone. So you can choose to set it up for a child in your family if you'd like, but we're setting this up for ourselves. And now we have the Face ID. Now Face ID is a great feature, so you can unlock your phone with just your face. You can also purchase things in the App Store, complete passwords. If you want to set it up, we'll tap continue. If not, you can set it up later. And it's going to go through the Get Started guide here. So we'll tap Get Started, and it's telling us to position our face within the frame. You just wanna turn your head back and forth and around and try to fill the entire circle green. When you're done, you'll be brought to this page here. So you can choose to use Face ID with a mask. We're not gonna do that. You can choose don't use Face ID with a mask here or you can set it up later in settings. So we'll set it up later. And Face ID is now set up. Tap continue. And creating a passcode is essential as well. If Face ID ever fails, your passcode is your only way back in to the iPhone. Additionally, anytime you turn off the iPhone, you do need to enter in a passcode. Face ID will not work. So we'll create a passcode here and you have a few options. If we tap passcode options, you can choose alphanumeric, a custom numeric code, or a four digit numeric code. By default, it gives you the six digit numeric code. Create something strong that you will remember. I'm just gonna put in zeros for now because it's faster and it was just prompting me that it was a little bit weak, but we're using it anyway, just to move on to the next page. From here, once again, you can choose to transfer your apps and data. Now, if you're doing this from another device, feel free to go through any of those, but like I said, we're doing this as a fresh installation. If you wanna transfer your data, you can skip ahead to that part of the video. So we'll tap, don't transfer anything. Now, everything you do on the iPhone runs through your iCloud and Apple ID, whether it's your wallets, your passwords, anything you use the Apple for, applications and things like that, you need an Apple ID. So if you don't have one, you can tap don't have one here and create a free Apple ID here. You can also choose to set it up later in settings. And if you do have an Apple ID and you forgot your password, just tap right there. For us, we already have one. So we're just going to enter in our email for our Apple ID and then tap continue. Enter in the password, tap continue again. From this page here, just simply read through all of this and tap agree. And it's going to start signing into all of your different accounts that you have set up with your Apple ID. If you created a brand new one, this will be a lot faster for you as well. Now it's asking you to enter the passcode for that other iPhone. 
And now it's letting you know what it's going to transfer from your Apple ID. So different settings, your wallet items, anything connected with that Apple ID will then be added here. We'll just tap continue. It's prompting you here to update your phone automatically. I choose to only download it automatically because sometimes when it installs, it can be quite long. Now you can set up your cellular. I'm not going to get into this because everybody has different cellular plans. I use a SIM card here. In the U.S., they don't use SIM cards. They use eSIM. So set that up on your own. You can transfer it from a nearby phone. Use a QR code. I'm going to say set up later in settings. The cellular stuff is on you, is up to you. My wallet information here, I'm not going to get into this. You can add your own wallet stuff. Just uh, enter in the security code. If it prompts you for that, I'm going to say add this card later. And in this section here, it's just asking you to help improve Siri and dictation. So read through this. I'm not going to share my audio recordings. iPhone analytics, again, to help Apple. I'm going to say don't share. Silent mode. It's telling you because this iPhone actually has an action button on the left side here that you didn't lose your silent mode. You can actually access it in control center now. We'll tap continue. And now it's the action button. So you can play around with this as you go and customize this. I have a full video on the action button. You can watch it right there, how it works, how you can use it, how you can customize it. But basically right here, if we tap customize, you can choose what that action button is going to do. Pretty basic stuff. I'm just going to leave it on silent mode and tap continue. Emergency SOS. This stuff is pretty important and it's nice to read through this just so you know how it works and what it's going to do for you. And then tap continue. And now finally on the last page here, welcome to the iPhone, swipe up, and this is your brand new iPhone. Now for those of you who wanted to set up your new iPhone from another phone, you basically bring your new phone close to that iPhone and then this screen will appear. Tap continue on your old device. We'll give it a second. You'll see this Galaxy icon appear here and you just wanna hold this phone over that Galaxy so that it can take that photo of it. And once it does that, it's going to then prompt us here and here to transfer our data from this phone to this phone. You may be prompted to do face ID. You may be prompted to answer a few questions, whatever it might pop up to say, go ahead and do that. But you'll end up at this page at some point. You'll get an estimated transfer time here as well. Mine's only five to 10 minutes because this phone is empty. Yours might be hours. And I've had situations where it took like 20 hours. So really, if you're doing this, have some time. Tap continue. And also during this time, when it is transferring, especially with larger files, sometimes at points you won't be able to use the phone. So just remember that as well. Tap agree here, tap continue here. It's just uh, making this your new phone. You can choose to update automatically. I like to only download the updates. Messages and FaceTime, I'm not going to set that up right now. You can choose to enable location services if you'd like. You can choose to disable them down there if you don't. Siri, we will set that up later as well. It's very easy. I have videos on that. You can click the icon up there if you wanna watch that one about how Siri works. And then your iPhone analytics. We're not going to share that with Apple. I don't like that. Emergency SOS is good to read through because it's some cool features that can actually save your life. So read through that so you know what are there. Tap continue. And now it's going to transfer. And this is crazy fast because this is a brand new phone right here has nothing on it, and you're transferring to a brand new phone that has nothing on it. This is the iPhone 15 Pro, this is the iPhone 15. And that's it, so the transfer is complete, and I would say not to erase that phone yet, let this one finish, so tap cancel there, uh, just to be safe, especially if you're not sure if this is going to finish. So once this one starts up like this, and you open it up, it's gonna prompt you to enter in that passcode you just created, the restore is complete, continue. You can go through the rest of these steps to choose your Wi-Fi network and things like that. That's letting you know about the silent feature because this particular phone has the action button. It's letting me know that it's there. If you're using the regular 15, you won't see this prompt. Action button settings so you can configure it. I have a video on that. There's a link to that in the description. We'll say not now and we'll swipe up. But that is it, that's how you set up the iPhone 15, 15 Plus, 15 Pro, and 15 Pro Max manually and transferring data from your previous generation iPhone. If you guys have any questions, because I know this was a little bit long and a little bit technical, feel free to ask in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. 
Also, if you want to watch more great tutorial videos like this one here, there's a full playlist to the iPhone 15 tutorial series guide. So check that out. You can learn more about these iPhones to get the most out of them. If this video was helpful and enjoyable, hit that like button, subscribe, click the bell notification box to be notified when I post new videos, and I'll see you in the next one.